<clears throat> Steve and Tyra had such a beautiful connection. Tyra, I told you this Monday, and I want to say it in front of everybody here, you were so good to him. Not just for the last 21 months. I know how deeply you love him, and I know how he felt the same way about you. And through this journey, you have shown more grace in the worst of times than many of us show in the best of times. Throughout his illness, Steve fought not just for his own life, but for more time with you. I know you'll always remember that even when he was in such pain, he worried first about you and about the kids. And I know you'll remember that you were first in his heart well before he ever got sick. Over the last 26 years, I always saw the same glow in Steve, all or nothing. But you changed that. You made it brighter. Before you met, Steve was one great guy, but you inspired him to become a great man. Jim and Betty and Jim, I loved Steve like a brother. And if you look around this room, you know I'm not alone. There's nothing we can do here to fill the hole in your hearts, but I hope that you find comfort in the love of this extended family. <coughs> Here is a man so funny and kind and caring, so sweet and super. Here is a man I'm so proud to have called my friend. Here is a man I miss so very much. But as our precious goddaughter Katie says, it's okay because he's in our hearts. You know where else he is? He's in Cooper's long legs. He's in Katie's mischievous laugh. He's in their loving spirit and in their brilliant minds. Cooper, know this. You don't have to be the daddy now. Your daddy is in you. You can talk to him anytime you want to. And as you grow, all of the great things about your daddy that are in you will become the great things about you. That goes for the rest of us. Steve's in our hearts. And if we truly want to honor Steve, the very best friend in the history of the planet Earth or any other planet, <laughs> here's how I suggest we do it. Laugh hard many times a day. Grab a friend and go run up a mountain together. Be kind to everyone. Live out loud. And love your family and your friends with all of your heart. When we got back from Colorado, <clears throat> Steve and I were talking at his house. He wrote me a check to settle up some expenses from the trip. And in the memo line on the check, he wrote, celebrate life. I know he wants us to do that today. And I know he wants us to do that every day. And I know he wants us to put that celebration on the Underhills tab. <clears throat> <clears throat> 